Well, all the major stock market indices, the big ones, all finished at record highs as investors continue to react very positively to the signs that the consumer is coming back. In fact, it was Target, remember, just written off for a variety of reasons over the past year or so. Well, they posted strong same source sales and a razor guidance, in part defining its way in the Amazon era, but also because of the new tax law, which is providing a big lift to cash and earnings. In fact, investors also took their cue this morning from optimism numbers from that December National Federation of Independent Businesses. Small business optimism has been absolutely on fire from the election. And now the outlook uh, for expansion is up 200 percent from October 2016. The key point was made in the NFIB statement. 2017 was the most remarkable year in the 45-year history of NFIB Optimism Index. This is from President and CEO Juanita Dugan. With a massive tax cut this year, accompanied by significant regulatory relief, we expect some very strong growth, millions more jobs, and higher pay for Americans. Here to discuss, Bill Dunkelberg. He is the chief economist at the NFIB. And Kevin Paul Scott, co-founder of ADDO Worldwide. <clears throat> I want to start with you, Bill. Uh, just <clears throat> another remarkable uh, report on business optimism, small business optimism, and it doesn't. It looks like it's going to get even better. I certainly hope so. You know, it took a nice jump, of course, the day after we found out that there was a management change in Washington. So everybody was happy about uh, that. They didn't know what the tax bill would look like or what the change in Obamacare might look like, but they knew whatever they're going to get, it's better than what they were living on under. And that made them much more optimistic about the future. And you will spend money on the future if you're optimistic about it. Kevin, are, are you now doing that yourself? And are you seeing that uh, among your, your colleagues? Yes, yeah, Charles, you're hitting the nail on the head. So one, yes, in our business, our small business, Atlanta, Addo Worldwide, it's making a difference for us. But I'm seeing it among other small business owners as well. Charles, there are still plenty of people who didn't vote for the president who don't even necessarily like his style. So they're still, it, it's like nails on a chalkboard when he's tweeting and they don't like all of this, but they love the substance <laughs> of what they're seeing. They like the tax policy, they like the results. And so while they may not like everything he does or the way he does it, they can't argue with the results. And I'm starting to see a lot of people come around to the fact that th this economic policy is working. Now, Bill, uh, you know, I study your reports every time they come out. And I know that a large percentage of NFIB, the people who take the surveys, are, 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 lean, are cons more conservative, perhaps, than the general population. And they saw something immediately after the election that I think the rest of the country seems to be catching up to right now. It seems that way. They certainly saw the, uh, the, the management style was going to change. And, of course, they were really concerned about the regulatory stuff. That was such a burden. We had more regulations. You know, there were record high numbers of regulations in the last two years of the Obama administration. So that relief is very important for them because that nickel and dines them to death and takes away from the capital that they need to expand their businesses. So without a change there, of course, they would continue to be unhappy about the future outlook. Uh, now we've got the right kinds of changes in taxes sure. and regulations, other kinds of things. And now they can have, spend their capital and expect a good return. Yeah, of course, uh, big businesses can hire the lawyers and accountants. Uh, and we also saw a dearth of entrepreneurship <laughs> because of all of that. Kevin? 2018, now what do you think small businesses want to see? There's still a lot of uh, b empty boxes on the Trump economic agenda. Which ones would you like to see checked off? Yeah, there's a lot. So one, we, we've got to continue to eliminate a lot of the uh, over-regulation that's got to happen. But I think we're really looking forward to seeing is something going to eventually happen with health care. While uh, getting rid of the individual mandate helps, as we look for solutions for our employees, that there's just not a lot of good options out there. So I think while uh, health care has been tabled for now, that's something that small business owners desperately want to see happen. Uh, really, while Republicans have such a good control over Congress, which I believe they'll keep as well. Real quick, too, Kevin, uh, I, uh, I read somewhere where there's going to be big changes to overtime pay. Uh, I, I would suspect that would help have an immediate positive impact for small businesses. Yeah, I mean, I think anything that's going to help uh, us make things easier, which helps us reinvest in either our employees or the, the infrastructure we need to do better business. And that's the pass through what so many people, we're talking about the stock market, but they don't understand how big of a deal the tax policy change is for pass through businesses, for people like myself, so that we can have a little bit of a relief to then reinvest in our employees and our business. It's huge for our, uh, it's really huge for the, the way that most sure. people work, and that's in small businesses. Bill, uh, keep up the great work at the NFIB. And Kevin, thanks a lot. You guys are fantastic. Appreciate it. Thank you.